Hi YouTube, it's just Brandy and this is my MC bag for the month of May. So this month's bag is entitled Go There. Here is the info card that it came with. You see it says Go There. And it says, Hey Ipster, we're writing to you from a cafe in Paris. Roxette is munching on crepes, Lynette is snapping pics, and we're all soaking in this beautiful city um da, da 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 check out our journey learn more about your may glam bag pics and see tons of travel inspired beauty tips and inspo on the ipsy mobile app then start planning your next adventure whether you're dreaming of a road trip a beach vacay or you're ready to trek across the globe it's time to go there safe travels so it is a travel themed bag and this is the bag for the month see it is um it's like a uh, faux pleathery type of bag but you'll see it has passport stamps on it from different places um paris is one thailand jamaica san juan new york um just a whole bunch of different places but it has passport stamps the opposite side is like a peachy color but this side is passport stamp, so it goes with the theme. And here are the items that I got. Um, my first item is another brush. I always get a brush. It's from Miss Glam. Yeah. I saw Miss Glam. It is a eyeshadow brush in 15. It's really cute. It has those little rhinestones and the colors. Um, I will try to find everything and put a screenshot of the prices I know I did look up this brush you cannot buy this brush as a single you can buy it as a duo I want to say it's like $35 for two brushes so this one brush by itself would probably be a nice price um, you can find people like selling them on Amazon or something like that but you cannot get this brush from the Miss Glam website they do not sell it I think a lot of the stuff from what I've um, noticed as I check for pricing for Ipsy, a lot of the stuff, I think um, companies have either rebranded or discontinued items and they give them to Ipsy to put in their bag. Um, you can still go to their site and they have similar things, but they may not have these same items. For example, this item. It is the eye show. It says, pop goes the shadow it's by elizabeth mott i went on the website she still says sells excuse me she still sells pop goes the shadow but the packaging no longer looks like this so they've repackaged everything so i think they gave ipsy their leftover stuff so i got the color goldie i'll swatch it this is what it looks like you can kind of see it's a nice gold color perfect for the summertime I love golds and neutrals um, so it's a full-size shadow so that's nice um, I will have the price like I said um, I know I did locate that the next item is a fingernail polish came in this box it's miami um the color is namaste by the pool and it says it's by deco deco miami it's vegan cruelty free eight free luxury grade formula um, I believe this is a full size. It says, do you love trying out new nail polish colors but hate being stuck with gigantic bottles of product that you only end up using a few times? Yeah, us too. That's just one reason why Deco offers a practical size for those nail colors that you only wear ever so often. Deco's bottles were also designed to be pretty enough to sit out on your vanity so you'll never have to worry about your nail polish collection looking like clutter in your room. And don't worry, Deco lacquers have a 100% vegan cruelty free luxury grade formula to keep your nails glossy strong and ethical AF so 
this is it. So this is full size for them. Uh, you can buy this on their website as well. I will put the shot and the price. Um, it has a gold emblem on the front and a silver top. It looks like it's silver. I don't know if it was once gold and it faded to silver or if it was just silver, but that's their bottle that they believe is nice enough for you to display. Down to the last two. Um, this is Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. And it is a 1.36 fluid ounce for dry skin, luscious lips, and glossy bits. So it's for lips and any very dry bits. So I don't know if it's called nipple balm because it's something that they suggest that people who are like breastfeeding who have like cracked dry nipples. Um, I'm not quite sure because I would not reach for a lip balm that was called nipple balm but <laughs> so i'm assuming because it does say you can use it other places but um it's it's really small um, but it is lip balm so you wouldn't super use a lot um, i was able to find this i'm not sure what the fluid ounce is for the price um, but this is kind of pricey i think it's like eight dollars um, but i'm not sure what the fluid ounces are on that one like i said this is 1.36 fluid ounces so My last and final item is by Touch of Soul, which is a Korean makeup brand that I found when I went to the site. It's um, Style Sepia French Garden Gel Liner with Diamond. So it is a eyeliner in that green color. You can see the green on the tip. I'll swatch it. There it is. It is, it actually is not green. It actually is dark brown, like chocolate brown. So I don't know why they have that green color on the tip. Um, perhaps that's why Ipsy has these because the coloring um, does not really match. Because if I wanted a hunter green eyeliner and I ordered that and I got chocolate brown, I would be highly upset. Um, I also went to their website and tried to find this item. They no longer have this item available on their website. They have other items, but they do not have this item. Um, it is 0 0.03 ounces. Um, it looks like a sample size to me. It may be full size um, as far as what they offer. I'm not sure, but that item is no longer available for purchase on their website. So those are the items that I received in my Ipsy Glam bag. Um, do I think that it was worth this month? Um, I always kind of think it's worth it because it's only $10. You always get a bag. The bag is a nice size. You usually get two to three full size products and um, two sample size products. And the items are always worth more than what you pay for the bag. It is $10. So it's nice to be able to find new brands, try new brands. So in my opinion, I think it was worth it. I'll continue my subscription. I will put my link below um, for Ipsy and the link to Ipsy in case you want to sign up. Let me know what you got in your bag and I'll see you next month.